Well, hello. Welcome back to Color and Canvas. Today I'm doing a little something different that you don't normally see me do, and that is I'm going to pour over a painting, but I don't want to pour. Usually when I pour, the paint underneath cracks. It is just a hazard that may happen. And this is an 18 inch by 24 inch canvas that I had painted before. And that is a lot of paint to, to get to dry quickly so it doesn't crack. So I am not going to do that. But I do want to do something to it that is not an embellishment of the traditional kind. So I'm going to be doing a dry swipe. I'm going to put all of my pre-mixed colors on here and then I'm going to balloon swipe them across the canvas and hopefully the canvas doesn't go moving around too much. Anyways, that's the plan and hopefully we can get something beautiful to come out of it. So because this was kind of a sea themed uh, painting to begin with, I'm going to stick with that on these colors. So I have various blues, a little purple, a little green, tiny bit of white, some silver, some mixed golds, and Floetrol. And I'm going to mix Floetrol in with all of these as we go. And I have never done this before. I did one swipe. One swipe. I'll show you. So I was goofing around trying to figure out what to do with that painting and I pulled out a really old ring pour that I had. Probably like the third painting I ever did. The largest one I did at the time. And I didn't like any of the balloon smashes I was seeing. But then I swiped across and and I went, oh, that's pretty. Let's just cover this entire canvas with this. So that's what we're going to do. Let's give it a go. And let's see whether we can get this really boring looking seascape to turn into something a little bit more interesting. So it's technically going to look like balloon smashes at first, and then it's all going to change. So let us start at the top. And all of these are going to be different. I'm going to try and do a little swipe on them like that, just a little whoop, you know, a little motion in them. But I'm going to start with puddles on one side and then just add a little bit of extra paint. I'm going to have to go back and touch up that end at some point, but not right now. We'll wait for that at the end and touch up anything else that is necessary altogether. I painted the sides black ahead of time because I knew there wasn't going to be much dripping down and I wanted, you know, something that I could work with if I have to touch up later with a paintbrush with black paint. That's a lot easier than having the entire blue and white thing to deal with at that time. So I think I'm going to put a little bit of our gold in all of them. And let's just see. Yeah, I think that's enough for this one. I'm going to add our Floetrol in as well. Just a little swipe of Floetrol over the whole thing and hoping that there will be some extra cells with that. So fingers crossed. Here we go. Swipe number one. Smash and swipe. Here we go. I'm going backwards a bit just to get to the end of our canvas and ah and I messed up the very first one. I can't believe I did that. Let me see whether I can improve it. Maybe we'll just leave it like that. So what did we learn? There's a lot of paint on here is what we learned and I really like the way that that looks. I'm very happy with it and I might just do that touch up side right now with a few colors and that way we can run into that area there and take care of both. <laughs> I'm trying to find somewhere to put that balloon down. I might have to put it back in the cup. But look at all the cells that that's making. That just looks really, really interesting. You know, that little Floetrol action in there is very cool. So let's add a bit of our colors in here just so we have something to swipe out. A little black, a little blue, a little gold, maybe. Hi, honey. Hi, baby. It's Dave. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Goodbye.
Love you. Enjoy the balloons. Dave's on his way out, and I'm staying in and painting. So here we go. Be bold. Have fun. Be bold. Drink water. It's like a humidex of like 42 Celsius, and he's going to teach a fitness class outside. <laughs> so I am obligated as the loving wife to uh, tell him to stay hydrated and drink water, even though he knows to do that already because he's a smart dude. Okay, so that's... Oh, that one turned out good. It's a little stripey, but it's okay, and I'm not even going to wipe that off. I'm just going to do that. So it's a little... It's a little wonky, but you know what? This is abstract. It's not supposed to look like anything. So I think that we may be just fine on that corner and we will carry on with our second smash right there. All right, and these puddles do not have to be all the same color. The only thing that I'm doing in common is starting with black. Uh, there's just something I want that in all of these. So we're just starting with that as our first color. Starting with black, ending with gold and Floetrol. And the rest of it, we're kind of making up as we go. There will be a silver component in all. Because it looks absolutely beautiful in all of this. And maybe we'll even put in just a, a dab of green right in there. And our gold. I didn't put any white in this one. So that'll be a little bit different. And our flow troll. Oh, I forgot to do our little, uh, our little vat. Well, we're going to have two of flow trolls in. It's really not going to matter. See, first time doing something. Everybody makes mistakes. And I just made one. <laughs> That's all right. See, everybody makes them. Uh, what other color? We're putting some gold in here. And some silver in here. And some dark blue in here. And hopefully I'll remember to swipe up in that direction. I think I will add some white. One little stripe of white and another little stripe of Floetrol. And hopefully we're doing okay here. Here we go. I'm gonna smash, I'm gonna swipe this way and go, ooh, I like it. And I think there's enough paint that I can just do a second one. Yeah. And see, I remembered not to pull it over top of the canvas again. Oh, I like it. And it'll be interesting if any of this detail that's underneath will show through. I think that's going to add to the overall look, not detract from it. There's a little bit extra right there that you can see. So I'm tilting just to pour that little additional paint off the edge. Just because I'm very, very sensitive about how much paint we're leaving on here because we don't want it to crack. So that's kind of cool. I'm tempted to just do a bunch of these now and I think I will. Let's do like three in a row. One, two, three, and <laughs> forgetting to do our extra swirl paint. There we go. And we'll add some blue in each one. And then we'll do some different colors. I think I'll do some purple down here, which we have, whoops, lots of purple, which we haven't done yet. Maybe I'll do a green here and a teal blue here. And then we'll go in with a bit of white. Oh my goodness, look at me forgetting everything. <laughs> Follow me, I'll tell you what to do. I'll forget most of it on the way. Oh my goodness. 
Well, here we go. Uh, let's fast forward this just a little bit. So we have a lot of swiping to do. And I want to talk about why I switched to these three puddles. Well, it's because this was my first time doing a whole painting this way. You saw I had only done one similar balloon swipe on the test canvas. And so I thought, well, it'll be a little bit faster and we'll blend together. And that was actually the wrong thing to do on here. Because this is a pour over, you know, there's always a risk that the paint underneath will crack. And the more paint you leave on it, the higher that risk is. So I should have stuck with one puddle, one swipe, and then put more paint down and do it again, like I did with the first two. And in future, I will do that. You could get away with doing these multiple ones a lot better if it was a fresh canvas, but on a pour over, you want a lot more control over how much paint you're leaving on there. So one at a time will be better on a pour over. And I would also like to recommend you checking out a YouTube channel called Expressionist Studio by Priscilla Batzel. She is an absolutely brilliant artist, uh, abstract artist. She does swipes that are similar to this all the time. I've seen many of her videos and I'm always inspired by her work. She's brilliant. Check her out. And so anyways, we're carrying on with swiping and let's get this finished and here we go. Okay, we'll do one purple at the bottom here. And I think we'll go with our light blue right here. And our silver. And our gold. Oops, too much gold. And our Floetrol. And here we go. Right off the edge, perfect. So now we have both edges done. This edge is not done. You can see right through it. I'm just gonna dip this balloon and redo this edge. Perfect. Man, the drips look amazing. Anywhere that we're having a bit of a coverage problem, I'm going to go over with the drips from the side. Just a tiny dab here. It's looking good. I am going to tilt this from side to side. I can see that there is a lot on here. And like we said, we don't want anything to crack because it is a pour over, a paint over, I guess, in this case. So let's just tilt a bit, see what, if anything, moves. It is moving. As you can see, a little bit will go over the sides. And that's okay. And we'll tilt this way as well. I need to get around to the other side to do that. Excuse the back of my canvas. And the waves are still staying. They're changing, they're moving. We still have all those waves in there. That's looking good. Paint's a little thick here. But it's moving really slowly. So there's not a ton on here. Okay. It's done. I will figure out something to do about these sides. 
because there's a lot of drips on them. And we just need to just figure out a way to work that out. Uh, yeah, I might just paint over these whole sides in black later, or if it looks good, <laughs> I might just leave them. It remains to be seen right now, but I love it. Okay, we'll have to put it away and let it dry. I will torch it. There are a few air bubbles from the swiping, but there's virtually none. Virtually nothing going on here, air bubble wise. But you know what? If there's a few, let's lose them. Well, there it is, such that it is. Let me see if you guys can see all of it. Yeah, you can see it. All right, I'm gonna set it aside. We're gonna let it dry. I will bring you back to see the dried one in just a second. All right, so we're back and the painting is dry. And I'm just gonna scan over it really, really slowly so that you guys can see all the beautiful, beautiful little details that are on here. And as we discussed before, there was going to be some cracks because it was a pour over and there were just a few at the bottom. You can see them kind of on the right hand side there, but they're minor. And frankly, in an abstract piece like this, they don't detract from it at all. So uh, I'm still going to hang it on my wall. I love it. <laughs> I hope you like it too. And I hope we've given you some ideas to give new life to some canvases that maybe you have and don't love. All right, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, go paint something and have some fun. Have a great day. Bye-bye.